Merry Filthy Christmas. That's right. I still haven't shaved. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I did leave the house, though, and I didn't even think about it. Uh, went to get myself some from breakfast, and believe it or not, in a city that's 24-7, 365, everything was closed. Finally, uh, but I did find one place on the way back, because when you look on Google, it said the place I wanted to go to get breakfast was open. Wife's like, check, uh, are they really open? I'm like, it says they're open on Google, but you have to ha have to do that stuff by yourself and put it into Google whether you're open or not. So I guess they didn't update it. But when you call, it sounded like they were open. And then you'd be like, you're number one in the queue. There are zero people in front of you in the queue. And then it hung up on you. So I just went to check because I figured maybe they were slammed with people wanting Christmas breakfast or something. Yeah, they were closed. Then I drove back um, and I was looking at, I was at like McDonald's. So I'm like, uh, okay, I see people here. Okay, so again, uh, first person goes through this drive through the next person, they, oh, okay, they're open. Then you realize that they were just going because nobody was answering. Although the lights were on, especially on the boards. That, that, that That's kind of a, you know, a wet dream there, man, giving somebody some breakfast blue balls. Uh, from there, then I was headed home, and then I saw this place uh, that we used to actually frequent when I was on active duty, you know, like be on like uh, what we call swing shift. So we'd get off near midnight, and we'd go there and hang out. So I hadn't been there since I retired, and I was trying to look around and see if it was still the same, but I couldn't remember. It's been so, such a minute. Uh, got my breakfast, came on home. So, uh, yeah, don't have much going on. Just te folks texting and of uh, the things I've been thinking about today for shower thoughts are uh, Amazon gift cards. I realized that all I gave out was Amazon gift cards and the only thing anybody sent me were Amazon gift cards. So it's actually the perfect Christmas, zero net gain. I give you a $100 gift card, you give me a $100 gift card to Amazon. I give you a $50 gift card, you give me a $50 gift card to Amazon. So when it's all said and done, I ain't have to spend shit for Christmas. That's actually what I call a decent Christmas. This year I ain't feel like doing shit. I didn't put out any of the decorations. Didn't put up the tree. I don't know, man. I just didn't feel Christmassy this year. I didn't uh, like going into any of the things. I didn't go to glittering lights. Uh, this enchanted thing they got uh, at the ballpark. I didn't go to that. I didn't go to Opportunity Village this year. It was like, I didn't feel like it. Uh... Yeah, so final thought, black people. <laughs> uh, for some odd reason, I saw this thing on, on um, next door as somebody hit with their dogs on a, with the, some antlers on, it was like Merry Christmas. And I was thinking about that. Oh, man, I do that for my dog. Why not buy him a little set of doggy antlers? And then I started thinking about something. Uh, one day I went to the pet groomers over at um, uh, PetSmart because it's next to the vet. And after we finished the vet thing, I went in there, I was gonna ask how much, you know, they charged for, you know, grooming. So I figured eventually I'd have to groom the damn dog. So I walk in and they ignore me and ignore me. And then this black chick walks in and then they, they start talking to her. And I'm like, the fuck? And I'm, I'm just standing there, and it's like, you know, someone came in after me, and they took care of her, and they didn't take me, and it's like, oh, they probably thought we were together, because black people are always together. I remember one time I went to um, renew my registration, you know, in the good old days before uh, COVID, and you, you know, you could go down to the DMV. So I'm sitting, and what they'll do is the first certain number of people in line, they'll give tickets to, and you get like the early access. And you can, I mean, you know, I think you can like, it's so like real easy kind of stuff. So uh, I'm like reading a book or whatever. And then I realized that everybody else had a ticket in their hands. I'm like, the fuck? You know, because I was in the the portion that they give tickets out to. 
I'm like, the fuck? What happened here? How come I didn't see this? And then you realize there was only one other black person there, a 16-year-old black girl. I don't know why she was there without her parents, but whatever. And she was sitting next to me. They probably thought I was her father. And just were like, oh, here you go, girl. I guess you're here to get your driver's license or something. Just went on. Yeah, I didn't notice. But, I mean, you didn't even ask me if I was with her. All black people are together, I guess. Okay, those are it for the thoughts. Everybody, Merry Christmas. And I will say all the other stuff, Happy happy Kwanzaa and stuff. But uh, we're coming back tomorrow. Finish this out so I'll at least be at my 99% for doing this for the year, which will make me feel all good. I uh, wish I had done some of the other stuff, like uh, after I hurt myself on the Segway, you know, I kind of got off working out, and then I just couldn't get back on it again. And I went so long working out every day. And Spanish every day. Like, when I, when I sp finished up my 200 um, lessons, I, I dropped off of that. But that's another story. I want to start it all up again. We'll see what we can do for next year. Anybody who's actually watching this, Merry Christmas and such. Bye.